They come up pretty well now behind the Commodore Mobile. Executioner goes up on the outside of that second row. Top stitch is back a little. So marches right up on the gate. Blue light is about to flash. And there it goes now. And in fact, Sir Marcher off the outside was one of the first to get going. Going quickly from gate four was Happy Days and driving up along the inside now was Country Capers as they settle fully into stride. And down on the inside, Country Capers is going to go to the lead. Trying to get back to the fence was Happy Days. Sir March is going to be posted without cover. Followed back behind it by Terzetto and then getting up on the inside of those runners' coloured lights. Further back in the field, Loyal Caramia going around them now three deep. Back behind it was Mr. Calamonda from Executioner, second last, and Top Stitch drops out to the tail. They come down to the winning post now, and the leader is Country Capers by a length and a half, running second on that leader's back, Happy Days. Now here's Loyal Caramia out three deep going up around them. It's trying to take this leader on. Sir March is back behind them as they go inside the 1400 now. And in fact, Loyal Caramia is going to take up the running. Goes to the lead by a length now. Running second in the event is Country Capers, two lengths away, third, Happy days and Sir Marches on the outside and neck away next came goal stakes four back the fence and there followed further back in the field next on the outside by uh, Terzetto then came behind it Mr. Calamonda followed by Executioner coloured lights the inside of it and top stitches at the tail of the field they come to, to the top turn now 9.50 to go and the leader is Loyal Caramia it leads by about a neck on Sir Marcher and here's one Terzetto out three deep coming around those from Happy Days Followed further back in the field next on the inside. Oh, Loyal Caramia got off the fence there. Sir Marcher was inconvenienced for a stride or two. Now, over on the inside behind them was Country Caper, followed next by Gold Stakes. On the outside, Happy Days from Terzetto, losing a bit of ground from Mr. Calamonda. Executioners being pulled around them. And back to the tail was Cutted Lights in company with Top Stitch. They head down the back now, and the leader still is Loyal Caramia. It leads the way by a half length on Sir Marcher. His Executioner coming from a from rearward position going up quickly on the inside country capers as they go now to about the 350 and loyal caramia in front it leads by a length sir march is gone into second was executioner on the outside but loyal caramia has a big lead at the 200 running third country capers at the 200 they go now and loyal caramia in front executioner coming out after it sir march broke up back behind them but loyal caramia is well clear executioner trying to bridge the gap with 75 yards to go but loyal Loyal Caramia is going to beat it, and Loyal Caramia by two lengths on the line. Executioner, coloured lights got up the run third. Fourth in was Gold Stakes, then Top Stitch, followed next by Country Capers, Sir Marcher, Happy Days, Terzetto, and the last one home was Mr. Calamonda. Returning number nine, Loyal Caramia, trained and driven by John McNemmy. Owned by Noel Simpson, a Bay Gilding 2 by Rockwell Hanover from Caramia Lusty. Has had four starts for two wins now, this one. Number nine, Hoyle Caramia. Second goes the number 10 executioner coming from Worldback, trained and driven by L.R. Bennett's. A Brown Gilding 2 by Fellowship from Bashful Blue. And seven third coloured lights, trained and driven by Brian Hancock, a Bay Philly 2 by Windshield Wiper from Miss Disco. Fourth placing is a photo. It'll go to either two gold stakes or six top stitch. They've gone 231.4, a mile rate of 24.3 after the running of race number five. <laughs>